Joining us now is Susan Anderson, B. Riley senior analyst who just this week cut her rating on the stock to sell, $5 price target, was completely ignored, Susan, as the stock then ran up to, to new heights. What do you think the significance of Ryan Cohen either having sold or planning to sell his stake is? Yeah, so we downgraded on Tuesday and our thesis was really a valuation. You know, it had run up prior to that 320%. And then shortly after that, it came out, he had out, he had bought these calls at significantly higher prices than where the stock was trading. So, you know, I think that helped to rally the stock up even further. Um, but I think the news that now he is looking to sell everything, you know, is obviously pressuring the stock. And our call is really based on valuation. So we have a $5 price target, 0.2 times our next year's sales on an EBD sales basis. Um, I would say that's pretty typical for struggling retailers that don't have profit. It's trading at 0.5 times now, which is more indicative of a healthy retailer that has profit. So, you know, we continue to think that the stock's overvalued. And I think as this meme fanatic kind of lets its air out, we'll continue to see the stock go down. I know it, it's it's almost ridiculous to put out fundamental analysis in the middle of, in the middle of such a period when the stock moves 20 to 100 percent on a given day. Susan, how bad how bad a shape is Bed Bath and Beyond in right now fundamentally? Yeah. So when they reported first quarter earnings back in late June, they missed the street significantly more than double. Um, you know, at that point in time, the old CEO Mark Trenton was left the company. And the CEO position is now in flux. Um, they said at that point, too, that the comps for second quarter were running down mid 20% range. They also said at that point they expect those comps to improve in the back half, which we don't see that happening. We have not seen any indication that they have improved. Actually, we you know, heard from Target and Walmart. Um, they have been able to clear through a lot of that excess home merchandise. So. I don't think that's helping them at all. Um, they do have, you know, liquidity. So we estimated at the end of the first quarter they had about 900 million in liquidity. But they're really going to need to stop that cash burn at some point soon. Otherwise, that could run out pretty quick. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.